I'm not a writer. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody, we back at it. We back at it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching. Hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the page. It's your boy, PBK9, is giving it to you the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Folk gonna like it. Folk ain't gonna like it. Some gonna like it, some ain't, man. It just is what it is. Y'all hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Drop down in the comments. And remember where you at. The number one dog channel that's gonna give it to you. The way nobody else is going to give it to you. Big salute to all my brothers and sisters out there. Loving them dogs. One breed to the next breed from one side of the world to the other side of the world. It's your boy PBK giving it to you today. The dog news and the dog talk. Let's get into it. We got some things to talk about today. Got a little bit of news, a little bit of talk. You know, <clears throat> and like I said, big salute to all the dog lovers from around the world. And my brothers and sisters down in the chat right now. Brothers and sisters is watching and never get in the chat. Big salute to you as well. And if you watch these videos and you're not subscribed, shame on you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> you're only holding yourself back. So let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. You know, I'm going to start this thing off today, tonight, this morning, whenever you're watching this video by saying, you know, the last video you watched of mine, I was telling you about the International Dog Show where I made some changes over the past couple hours you know um i'm not gonna be doing the international dog show you know that's not my thing you know what i'm saying um i gotta i gotta uh focus on my thing that ain't my thing um so i will be doing but i will be doing i'm gonna say this i will still be giving out an award you know i will be searching for dogs throughout the internet pit bulls throughout the internet not dogs but pit bulls throughout the internet that fit the criteria for the triple crown award you know so i will be doing that um as far as the dog show i'm not i'm not you know worried about that or thinking about it um let folk do what they do i'm doing what i do uh, i will say that the coup the coup that the brothers tried it didn't work you know for brothers that don't know what a coup is, it's a takeover. It didn't work, you know. Um, I'm too strong for that, you know. At the end of the day, I prepare my soldiers. I prepare my 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 game plan for the, 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 the do what I got to do to the last soldier on the field, you know. So I'm always prepared. I'm always ready. You know what I'm saying? Um, it just is what it is when it comes to this YouTube stuff. You know, it just is what it is. And, and folk better remember that. T to the last soldier on the battlefield, I'm ready. At the end of the day, PBK9 is going to keep giving it to him. Fair, unbiased, <laughs> raw and uncut. See, when you've been through things in life and you already been screwed over or you already been fucked over one time, <laughs> you quick to see the second play. You know, you quick to see the third play of somebody trying to play you or screw you over. You know what I'm saying? That's all a part of going through things, learning lessons. That's why I tell brothers before, going through things in life don't always have to be bad situations. You know what I'm saying? When I say that, I mean, it may have been a bad situation, 
but it don't always have to be uh, a bad result or bad something bad coming from that. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn from that from things. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that one bad thing might be something that saved you later on down the line. You know, you might be thought that was bad, but the knowledge that you gained from that bad situation, you know, help you see certain things later on down in the future. You know, and, and brothers has got to understand that. Sisters got to understand that. Everybody ain't go through what everybody been through. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't feel the way everybody feel about certain situations. But brothers feel like everybody should feel the same way. You know? I didn't go through what that brother over there went through. Or that sister or that other brother over there. Neither they, did they go through what I've been through. You know? And, and they ever feel like... Or they if, if, if you got a girl who been beat by a man... You know, been in a relationship where she been beat, 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 beat. And then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? She get in the eye one and later on down the line, she get in another one. And then it starts seeming like the one when she was getting beat, beat, beat all the time. She going to know what time it is. She going to know how to handle that. You know, because she already been through it already. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, man. You can't, well, at least somebody, some folk you can. You know what I'm saying? But other folk, you can't fool them two times. You know, like they say, shame on me the first time. Shame on you the first time, for, you know, for doing what you did. But shame on me the second time for letting you do it two times. See, it's about being down who down for you 100%. Folk will act like they down with you and, and try to play like they down with you. And, and this is the thing, my brothers and sisters, you know, especially when it comes, like I always say, I have the resort because these brothers like to... Uh, uh, keep putting civilians in other lives, you know what I'm saying, in other people's lives. Listen, you know, 100%. We all rolling together. We all down 100%. Not just when we need to jump somebody. Not because you put me on a girl. Oh, yo, man, come holler at shorty friend over here. That don't mean we down 100%. Down 100% means 100%. When the goings get tough and the going gets rough. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. I done seen it, been through it, ain't going through it again. You know, if it ain't a hundred, I ain't rocking with it. You know, that's why at the end of the day, true dog men know what it is when I say, oh, that's why brothers say dog's a man's best friend. A lot of y'all don't even understand that, and y'all say that every day. You know, you do things to you do things to show brothers why dogs is man's best friend. You don't got to never worry about a dog sneaking you behind your back. You don't got to worry about a dog talking about you, trying to cut you, trying to get more whatever. You can do what you want to do when you got your dogs. They ain't going to hate on you. You know, they just going to live their life and come out smiling every damn day and be the same, be the same. They ain't going to treat you no different. You know, it's the same thing with a the dog. They're going to listen. When you come telling your problems, you ain't got to worry about them getting and telling somebody else your problems ain't trying to shine on you. You know, you ain't got to worry about none of that. That's why dogs is man's best friend. You know, it just is what it is. You know, uh, women don't cut women the way men cut men. Women do they cutting and they, they, they do their backstabbing, <laughs> but they don't do it like the way men do men. You know, it's different. Men, the, the man goes through things you know what i'm saying the man goes through things they didn't say the woman's best friend no disrespect to my women out there see the man's best friend you don't see these women out here doing these things on youtube that you see these men doing you know you see men doing things that women do but you don't see the women doing things that these men up there doing so if you're going to be down with somebody 100%, make sure they're down with you 100% at the end of the day, you know? And that's all it is to it, man. That's all it is to it. See, y'all thought y'all thought that news was too much the first time. Where do you see what the, what the bay got in store for my folk for the rest of the year? I'm about to make y'all mad as hell. Talk, 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 talk. Feel how you want to feel. Get whatever, in, in, in whatever mood you want to get in. It just is what it is. I'm giving it to you. Court cases, bus, whatever. I'm going, I, I was giving you just a bus. 
Now we're going to go start digging into the court cases. You know, we ain't getting into the actual cases. We're going to the trials. You know, we're going to the trials. <laughs> we talking about this dog game. What is dog game leading, brothers? Like I said, man, in a minute, they're going to say it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> I, I got to stay on a level, my level. I, like I said before, I got to do my thing, concentrate on my craft, focus on what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, big salute to all the channels that rock with PBK9s. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you don't got a wrench, you know, and big salute to all the brothers that's rocking with me. If you don't got a wrench and you're rocking with the bay, it ain't nothing personal. Check it out, right? Because you don't need a wrench over here to be important. All you got to do is holler at me. I'm, I'm rocking with you. You know, if you're down in the chat and something needs to be handled, you don't got no wrench, <laughs> holler at me through the chat. You know what I'm saying? Come up there, holler at me. However you want to do it. You know, you don't need a wrench to be important. You know, don't think you need a title or a badge to be important. You are just as important as the people with the wrenches or the next person. That is not even in the chat. The people in the, the people that's not in the chat are just as important as the people that's in the chat. You know, so it's no uh, a wrench. You a bigger person than the next. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel <clears throat> no kind of way if you rock with the bay and you don't got a wrench. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know if something go wrong or if you need something to go down. Because I'm going to make it happen. You know, I'm going to make it happen. Like I said, man. Playtime is, play is over. You know what I'm saying? Playtime is over. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe this ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this ain't for you. But we're going to get into some quick news because we got some dog talk. We're talking about barracuda, hound dogs, pit bulls. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about Michael Jordan and the dog game and, and some more things as well. You know what I'm saying? But PBK9 is giving it to you. Dog news. Portsmouth dog fight that I gave y'all a few days ago. Well, we got an update on it where they gave the, the owners of the dogs. You know what I was telling you? The dogs was fighting and they bit somebody. Or they was fighting over the food or something like that and they bit somebody. Well, we got citations issued. Y'all check this out. This is 12 News Now. I'm Leah Crowley. We have an update on the dog fight that happened in Portsmouth that hurt two people. The owner of three of the four dogs that were involved has been cited. Police said the three dogs were loose and got into a fight with a leashed dog. There will be a vicious dog hearing too, but no date has been set for it yet. In the newsroom, I'm Leah Crowley, 12 News Now. All right, before we get into that Barracuda situation, let's just talk about hound dogs in general and the performance and breeding hound dogs into your dog losing performance. Will you lose performance when breeding to a hound dog? You know, and this is the thing. Do a lot of brothers claim to know certain things, you know, but it just, it's talk. You know, when it comes to a hound dog, see, this is what some brothers just don't understand. You're not losing performance. When it comes to a hound dog, when it comes to breeding a performance dog like a pit bull to a hound dog, you know, you are not losing performance. When we say this, understand what I'm saying, okay? Which hound dog? Now, you're talking about a basset hound? Yes, that's the long sausage dog. We're not talking about that. We're talking about your coon dog. We're talking about your hog hound, your, your, your catahoulas, your... um. Your, your, all your hound dogs with long, lanky bodies. You know, deer, your deer hounds, your deer dogs. You know, all them type of dogs. Performance dogs. See, I, I even heard brothers bring the, the, the greyhound into the situation. The greyhound can't be bred with the pit bull without losing performance. You see, because the greyhound is not bred like a hound dog. Greyhound will chase that, that little thing. Around the track, a mile, what? Give them two miles. But eventually, that greyhound is going to stop chasing after that thing and it's going to wander around the track. You know, he's only bred to chase after an object for a certain period of time. Them coon dogs, them, them deer dogs, you know, them type of dogs, them hog dogs, they go until they can't go no more. You know, um, not saying a greyhound won't. But it's just my thing is the greyhound is not bred to uh, 
It's bread to race. You know, it's not bread for the long haul. You know, and when you got coon dogs, hog dogs, um, any of them type of dogs, they bred for the long haul. So if, if a brother bred a pit bull terrier to a coon dog, to a deer dog, to a hog dog, where is he losing performance at? Do you, do you not understand that the hound dog carries a trait that tells him to keep going? My trait in me tells me to keep going, tells me to keep going. When, I, when I'm born, my owner has to train me to chase cats, to chase rats, to chase hogs, to chase um, raccoons, to chase whatever I'm going to chase. My owner must train me to chase that, but I'm bred already inside to have that goat in me. So if I breed a pit bull terrier with a hound dog, I'm not losing performance. You know, I'm not losing performance. I'm getting um, drive on this side, drive on this side. The, where, the, where, the, where the coon dog don't want to fight, the pit bull adds that into it. The pit bull has been bred over 100 years. You know what I'm saying? Anything you breed the pit bull to will have fighting instinct in it. Anything. It don't matter what it is. It can be a poodle bred to a pit bull, but now your poodle aggressive. You got to check all your puppies, and you might have one that look like a straight hound dog, but the ones that look like pit bulls, they aren't going to lack. And then you're going back to the pit bulls. You know, you're going back to the pit bulls. And most likely, when this was done back in the days, or if it was ever done back in the days, it was done on yards where, you know, brothers knew this. You're not going to lose gameness. You know, uh, contrary to what any brother may think, that's because you're not dealing with them dogs, hound dogs. You got hound dogs that chase hogs that would kick a pit bull ass. No bulldog in it, period. Catahoulas, black mouth curves, you know, plots that will kick a pit bull ass straight up and down. You know, that'll make you say, oh, I'm going to get rid of this dog because he's not even a bulldog at all and he's in my dog ass. Whether he beat him or not, he shouldn't be even getting that far in him. You know, so if that plot or if that, that, that Catahoula or if that Black Mouth Kurt can do your pit bull like that, where am I losing when I add it to my pit bull? But what am I gaining? I'm gaining far more than I'm losing. You know, this daddy pit bull or whatever, whoever, the mother, whichever one's the pit bull carries enough genes and traits to hold this whole side down over here. All we need, and guess what we gaining? We are losing nothing, but we gaining a world of gene pool. A gene pool open, so far open, that we never have to worry about inbreeding for, for, for a long period of time. You know, we can inbreed all we want to inbreed for a long period of time. So that's why I'm just saying about hounds, because a lot of brothers feel like hounds, you're losing performance. You're losing performance. You're not losing no performance when you got a deer dog that can run from the morning time to the evening time. You know, chasing after deers. So when you when you breed that to a pit bull, you know, you're going to get a dog that was bred to chase deers when he come up from a puppy. He don't know what a damn deer look like. All he know, he got something in him, bred him to go from the morning time to the fucking damn night time. You breed that to a pit bull, the same driver is going to be in that. Only thing you can't, you, your paper's going to be screwed up. You know, your paper's screwed up. You know how we like to do bets, cause I I bet y'all brothers the other day a hundred dollars, and I don't I still have seen you a hundred dollars to your cash app. You know, if you could tell me why you're running the town Garner and when you're rocking with Fat Bill, but we talking about them hounds right now. You know what I'm saying? We talking about them hounds. Where you gonna lose at? Your average pit bull can't go. From the morning to the evening. So when we try to add mouth, we got a dog over here that's damn good, got mouth and got all this. And then we try to add all this, and then we get the puppies and they ain't like neither one of the damn dogs. You know, daddy dog better than the puppies and the mama dog better than the puppies. And I'm talking about straight pit bulls. And like I said, you don't got a pit bull a pit bull 
will chase something. But once it can't catch it, it's going to turn around. Them deer dogs, them coon dogs, and them other dogs not turning around. They keeping going. Them hog dogs not turning around. They going to keep going. That's why the brothers got to have GPS trackers on the dogs. They not stopping. We not talking about a pit bull going to stop. You know, pit bull not chasing no fucking deer for no damn 10 miles. No 5 miles. He might not, he might be gone far enough where you get, he get lost from you and you can't find him. But he ain't that damn far. He just got lost and too dumb to find his way back home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the mother hound dogs, they possess a higher drive trait when it comes to certain things. So they bring in good traits in. If a brother wanted to do that back in them days. Because we getting, this is leading us to our conversation about Barracuda and all that stuff. You know, um, I was going to do it live last night. But I had some old things to talk about. And, you know, I wanted to... To give it, give this to y'all brothers the right way, you know. Um, it just is what it is, my brothers. Uh, wouldn't advise nobody to do the hound dog thing unless they know what they're doing. Like I said before, um, you you know, it, it, it's your papers involved. You know what I'm saying, and all that other type of stuff. But with selective breeding, you getting a whole healthier dog, whole healthier litter of puppies. Say if you have ten puppies. Three of them look like hound dogs. If any of them look like hound dogs, and by the way, they already say pit bulls look like hound dogs. You know what I'm saying? They already say that. So, I mean, it's a chance you may can keep the whole litter. But just to say we keep five off the litter. Five off the litter. Two five dogs. Out of them, two or three of them might be girl dogs or whatever. But those dogs' puppies are, will be healthier than the mama dog of them puppies. The offspring of them puppies' dogs will be healthy. And when you you can take the offspring of them dogs, breed them back to each other, and they're going to still be healthier than what that straight pit bull was. Now, that just because the dog bringing other genes in and other gene pools don't mean they're going to all be healthy as well because they can have bad traits in them that they can be bringing into the pit bull as well. So it go both ways. But as far as opening up a gene pool, you know, it's nothing like having a big gene pool, and that's what the working working dog brothers do overseas. That's why when brothers can't figure out how they breeding such better dogs, it's because they're getting bigger gene pools. So when they're doing their breedings, later on, if I'm doing a breeding with my dog, and I got a dog off Chinaman or whatever, and I'm doing a breeding, and, he, and it's coming off uh, the way them brothers overseas breed. You know what I'm saying? Not the way we breeding, the way they breeding. Then I might get a dog that might look like Chinaman. He might look like Bolio. He might look like Jeep. He might look like all the different dogs. You know what I'm saying? Because of the way they breeding. You know? It just is what it is. It's, just, it's, it's, it's game dogs. But a lot of brothers speak on things where they really don't know what they're talking about when it comes to certain things. You've never even been around hound dogs. You know what I'm saying? When, we, when you think about hound dogs, you're thinking about a certain kind of hound dogs. You know, and everybody always talking about um, uh, hog dogs. And half of y'all don't know what a hog hound dog is. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when you talk about hog dogs, you only know them pit bulls. And a dog you that you see that you can't call out what breed of dog that is. You don't know if that's a Catahoula, Black Mount Kurt, or what it is. You just know it's a coon dog looking dog. You know what I'm saying? So brothers speak on things. And they take stuff from brothers who don't really know what they be talking about. And then when you get something from somebody who know 10% or something or 50% of something, you don't know how to react to it. You know, but hound dogs uh, will not take performance from bulldogs unless you the straight breed of hound dogs. You know, we talking about one breeding. And yeah, if you take the one that look like a hound dog or if your whole little look like hound dogs, maybe it wasn't a good breeding. You know, maybe it wasn't good breeding. It's always supposed to be done when when you do a breeding like that. It's always supposed to be done with the female being the dog that you want to carry the traits. If it's, if you want the pit bull, then you want to breed the male hound dog to the female pit bull. And that way she going to carry the puppies. Your puppies come out pit bull puppies. Maybe a hound dog here or there. 
you know, but if you breed the male pit bull to the female hound dog, you get hound dog pit puppies, and a few of them be pit bulls because your daddy was a pit bull. You know, it's just no matter what breed you're trying to go at or go with, if you want, if you're trying to mix up Rottweiler and German Shepherd, if you want them to look like Rottweilers, you need the mother dog to be the Rottweiler. You know, it's all there is to it. Whichever one you're trying to have your dogs looking like, you need that mother dog to be that dog. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not a grins. I'm not in agreement with breeding to no hound dog, but we just get into that topic and that subject on um, the Barracuda, you know, and I just had to stop and talk about the actual hound dog's performance, breeding a hound dog with a pit bull. A lot of, like I said before, when it comes to my drive, my, my keep going, my keep going, them hound dogs is going to have more keep go than your red boy going to have. You know what I'm saying? Salute to all my brothers that do the hunting. You know, of course, if I go breed to a rabbit dog, my dog ain't going to look right. You know, and like I said before, <clears throat> greyhounds, not going to, greyhound is called a hound, but greyhounds is not going to run like a coon or a deer hound. You know, same way a deer hound may not run like a greyhound out the gate. You know, three miles down the road. A damn greyhound not going to be running like a, a deer hound. Five miles down the road, a greyhound not going to be running like a deer hound. Because it's a different kind of driving them dogs, you know. And brothers, a lot of brothers don't understand that when they talk about hounds. But, um, you know, uh, let's move this thing on, man. Because we got a lot of hound talk, a lot of dog talk. You know what I'm saying? Got a lot of haters out there we're going to speak on. You know, like I say, PBK about to turn this thing all the way up, man. All the way, all the way up. Focus on my craft. Do it, do it how the next man can't, and I do it naturally because it's me. It is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, you can't blame me for not wanting to get stabbed in the back two and three and four and five, six, seven times. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to live their lives, do what they do. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't no suburban in that ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I know how to follow the rules, the law of the land. You know what I'm saying? Do my own thing, make my own moves, and that's all it is to it, like I said. You know what I'm saying? Big salute to any brother competing in any shows, any dog shows. Like I said before, that ain't my thing. I ain't doing it. You know, I had to sit back and think. I can't react off something, off emotions. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thing, you know? <laughs> Fuck it. It is what it is. You know, I'm going to say it like that, you know? Say it like that, man. But let's keep this thing moving, man, when it comes to these hound dogs. You know, let's keep this thing moving. And like I said, don't forget to hit that like button, man. Don't forget to hit that like button up. Drop down in them comments, my brothers. You know, drop down in them comments. And like I said, we talking about them hound dogs. We got a few dogs. And I'm going to play the, the lawyer side. I'm going to argue for the pit bulls on the hound dog. And I'm going to argue against the pit bulls on the hound dog. I'm going to play the prosecutor side. To, to say why the, the hound dog could be in the, the certain pit bulls. You know, we're going to do it like that. But I just had to start from talking about performance. You know, any brother that deals with them, with them hog dogs, not the pit bulls, but the bay dogs. They know what it is when it comes to them dogs. You can guarantee it. Pit bulls go out there with them hogs and they start trouble. They get out there, they want to scrap. You got some of them hog dogs that's an alphas. The, the, the pit bull come over there, they start to fight. The pit bull don't got to start to fight. The hog dog started. And the hog dog finishing. It just, them dogs rough, man. They're not bred to fight. Only dog that's bred to fight in this world, you know, other, you know, other than the foreign fighting dogs, are the American pit bull terriers. But don't get it twisted. That don't mean because you was bred to fight that you're going to win the fight. I wasn't bred to fight, but I'm going to kick your ass. You know what I'm saying? Today, that all is to it. I'm not no fighter, but when you jump on me, that's just it. You're going to get punished. You can be fighting all your life, but you jump on the wrong one, that's your ass. You know what I'm saying? And that's it is with a pitch. Y'all get it confused and think because this dog a pit bull, it's automatically going to win the fight. The fight when they jump on another breed of dog. And it don't go like that. A lot of breeds it do. 
But some of them breeds say, yo, I'm going to stand up for mine and you're going to have to show me. You know? And when they jump on a pit bull, a pit bull get bit the way he ain't never been bit by another pit bull. A pit bull ain't bit you like this dog bit you before. You know? He may be curb biting. He may be doing another style biting, but you ain't never been bit that hard. You know what I'm saying? Your style of fight ain't the style of fighting you used to. So when you going against, you know how they say, you only good as your competition, you know? So when you're going against something who, who not fighting you back in the same style that you used to, you kind of do things differently. You know, it, 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 you know, it go like that though sometimes, though, man. You know what I'm saying? It go like that sometimes. But like I said, man, big salute to them hound dog brothers. You know what I'm saying? And a big salute to the brothers that's doing these breedings and got the love for these dogs from worldwide across from one side of the world to the other side of the world. Now, let's get into this this comparing. First thing we're going to compare, when we compare Barracuda, because I hear a lot of brothers talking about Barracuda talk, Barracuda talk. No disrespect to none of my brothers. And if I was going live, I was going live uh, you know, the other day, and I wanted my brother Yellow One to come up here and talk with me. You know, um, get up there and talk a little bit of that hound dog, talk, talk with me, brother. Um, but the thing is, first thing we're going to do, we're going to talk Barracuda. Now, a lot of people say Barracuda part hound dog. You know, now this is the first question I'm going to ask y'all brothers. And it's going to make you think. The first question, because right now, I'm coming from the lawyer side of Barracuda. I'm going to represent Barracuda and tell you why I don't think he has hound dog in him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, or I'm going to say why I think he's all bulldog. Okay. Now, we all know Barracuda. Y'all look at the Barracuda pictures. You know, we all know Barracuda. Now, my first argument, my very first argument is, if Barracuda is a hound dog, that means his mother would have been a hound dog. Okay? If Barracuda was a part hound, that means his mother would have been a hound dog. If Barracuda's a hound dog, then what about Big John? Big John and Barracuda look more like each other than Barracuda and Mayday. With Barracuda being off Mayday. Big John looked like he could have been Barracuda's father more than Mayday does. You know. So who's Big John's mother? Is it a hound dog? Big John's mother is Saber. You know, all red boy Jocko. Why does he look like Barracuda? Why does he look like a hound dog? So Mayday couldn't have bred to... A hound dog to get Barracuda if Big John looking just like Barracuda himself. And only kin Big John and Barracuda has is Barracuda is Big John nephew. You know, two half brothers, half a uh, half brother son. So we 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 established the fact that and we we straight up see the dogs. Big John look more like Barracuda. Then Mayday, at least on them pictures. So, now let's go to this. Now this is going to always take us back. This is going to always take us back to the one person that this can all revolve around. David Tant. This can all revolve around David Tant. But I'm arguing for Barracuda right now. You know, because see Tant... <laughs> We all heard stories that he was crooked with the dogs. We all heard the stories that him and Mr. Hollinsworth had problems with Mayday Little. It was a problem going on that my brother told y'all about. Mr. Hollinsworth had with Tant with Mayday's Litter. You know, Mr. Tant wanted more money for the litter or he wasn't going to give that litter up. Now, let's go back to talking good for Barracuda. Why would they breed them to a hound dog? Why would they breed Mayday to a hound dog to get Barracuda? Why would they do it? And I'm quite sure Barracuda or the brothers who 
had Barracuda have pictures of Mayday breeding to the mama dog of Barracuda? I'm quite sure they have pictures of Barracuda's litter being born. Carried by the, the female pit bull. You know. Where is the hound dog at in this situation? You know, where is the hound dog at? Where can we place the hound dog at if we're going to put a hound dog here amongst these elite pit bulls like Barracuda? You know, and like I said before, the first argument that we, we have to get past as brothers and sisters that I want to ask y'all brothers and I need an answer. If Barracuda is off hound dog, then who is Big John off? Okay, you know, I mean, the proof is in the pudding when it comes to that part. Still, you know, this argument is far from over. This argument is far from over, you know. Now, my, we looking at Barracuda, we looking at Big John, which is his uncle. We know Big John off of Sabre, and we know Barracuda is off of who he's off of. And before we get into the analytics of Barracuda, you know, let's just get let's just go a little bit deeper into this thing right here. Dogman style. Real dogman talk. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be real with yourselves. Y'all be forgetting things, my brothers and sisters out there. We keep saying hound dog. We keep saying hound dog, mayday, mayday, hound dog, barracuda, barracuda. I have not once heard one of y'all brothers say Big John because a lot of y'all haven't really seen him besides on the little pictures right there. And he's not as famous as a lot of y'all other dogs is as far as social media wise. But y'all forgetting the big picture. Y'all ask yourself crazy questions every day. We make assumptions every day about these dogs having another style of dog in them. But y'all forget the one major key factor in this shit y'all forget it man and it's my job pelican bay canines dog tv dog talk to give it to you the way i give it to you fair and uncut raw and unbiased maybe the truth it may not be the truth sometimes the truth hurts but y'all brothers keep talking that talk but y'all forgetting something, my brothers. Come with me real quick. Come with me. All y'all, gather up y'all stuff. Come with me so I can take y'all to bring and put y'all on to something real quick. Before we go any further on this hound dog talk with Barracuda, because we got a lot of it, you know, comparing and contrasting. Before we go any further, y'all come with me real quick. Have y'all ever stopped to think? Have y'all ever stopped to wonder? All the stuff that we talk about throughout these years. All the stuff that we heard throughout these years. The one dog. The one dog. That's still a mystery to everybody. Is who? Is who? Drop down in the chat my brothers. I'm going to give you a few seconds to drop down. That dog who's the mystery to everybody. But he is. <laughs> In these pads. Y'all forgets this man. We talk about this shit all the time my brothers. See. What about Red Boy? We don't know who Red Boy is off of. We don't know who Red Boy is off of. And we have no fucking proof. Who Red Boy is really off of. And the whole dog world knows that. The whole dog world knows that we all settled for Tills Jeff being the father and we all good with that because Red Boy production was so fucking good it didn't matter. Nobody knows who Red Boy is off but who Red Boy was bred by. And right now, you ain't got one person willing to stand up in this dog game to vouch that Red Boy was bred off these two dogs and he had Red Boy as a hand puppy all the way and he can... And he can vouch for Red Boy's actions from the puppy to the grown dog. From the breeding to the grown dog. Not one person. So y'all mean to tell me y'all forgets all that, right? 
Everybody forgets that because Red Boy don't look like a hound dog. Red Boy was just one that was <laughs> selected breeding. Out of, the, out of the other five, Red Boy was one of the ones that looked like a pit. So, so we kept him. We kept him. <laughs> we kept him. <laughs> How can y'all, like, see past all that? Y'all argue hound dogs every single day, but one of the major dogs in everybody's pedigree is unknown. Red Boy. It's unknown what if Red Boy had the hound dog in him. Then once they start doing that inbreeding with Yellow John and his offspring and Jocko and all of off, once they start doing all that inbreeding, hound dog traits start popping back up. Hound dog traits start popping back up. Now this is just a theory, you know, but it's a theory that you can't say is not true because everybody know that Red Boy has an unknown pedigree. So you cannot say that theory isn't true. Everybody know that Red Boy is deep into Mayday and them dogs' blood with all the inbreeding they're doing. So why wouldn't uh, a hound dog looking dog pop up when you start inbreeding these dogs? Like, I haven't heard one person yet mention Red Boy could have been off a hound dog because of how Red Boy looked. Now, we can't go by that. We know how selective breeding go, like I said just a second ago. You know, Red Boy is the only dog that's in this pedigree with an unknown pedigree. You know, nobody ever thought about that. Nobody ever thought about it. Them brothers before Red Boy time didn't inbreed the way Tat and the boys inbreeded. Mayfield started doing it. Carver started doing it. But they didn't do it the way them dogs was did to create that Red Boy Jocko stuff. And the way brothers are still doing constantly today. Brothers is uh, Chavis and, and Mayfield and, and the boys, they was doing their inbreeding and Tat and them boys was doing their inbreeding. Brothers bought these dogs from these brothers, and we still inbreeding today. So you can imagine what the gene pools is with these dogs. Just imagine that, man. Them boys started doing the heavy inbreeding. Heinzel and, and Leitner and all them boys, they did a little inbreeding here and there. You know, they didn't do it on the level like Tant and them boys and Chavis and them boys and Mr. Burns and all the rest of them boys was doing it. You know, and the thing about it, like I said, you know, uh, what if Red Boy came down off a of hound dog? I mean, how un how impossible would that be? How impossible would it be? Now, let's move on to this. One thing brothers is forgetting, we can see a lot of brothers, you know, you may not know about how the Jocko stuff bred and look. Barracuda have more Jocko in them than may they have in him. Let me show you Jocko. You know, multiple pictures of Jocko. Jocko was not no small dog. You know? And, and like anybody who dealt with them yellow dogs back then, you know they was big dogs. Now, uh, I will say this, you know, um, when you compare Barracuda to the hound dogs, you know, what hound dog would you say? Okay, now, would you say, y'all brothers say his mother's a hound dog? Would y'all say that them, them, uh, the brothers who had them Took, took a hound dog female and bred the Mayday. Now, Red Boy being off a hound dog sounds more true than them boys taking a hound dog and breeding it the Mayday to get Barracuda. That sounds like I'm really, really reaching. You know what I'm saying? Saying they took a hound dog and bred the Mayday to get Barracuda. You could have just went and bought a dog from the dog pound. Why the fuck would I breed a hound dog? I can go just buy any damn pit bull and breed the Mayday and get me some full-blooded pit bull puppies. You know what I'm saying? So, 
saying that they bred a hound dog unless accidents happen. You know, maybe an accident happened. He got bred to a hound dog, and they kept the puppy. And it was Barracuda. Put papers on him. That could have happened. But that's reaching. That's reaching. Maybe Red Boy's off a hound. That ain't reaching because we don't know. We gave him a pair. You know, we gave him a pair, and, and, and the world ran with it from there. But the good thing about it is the whole dog world, almost the whole dog world knows the Red Boy, you know, the Red Boy stories. Whether you believe this story or that story or this story or that story, at the end of the day, all the stories mean one thing, that his pedigree is unknown. That's all, you know. Now, which hounds would you say Barracuda takes traits after? You know, I say it's the Jocko stuff. Now, I'm going to have these hounds up here, like your Rhodesian Ridgeback. You got your Rhodesian Ridgeback. Maybe they had a female Rhodesian Ridgeback that they bred to the Mayday. Maybe Tent had a Rhodesian Ridgeback that he bred to get Mayday. And he, he, he shit Mr. Hollinsworth. Maybe Mr. Hollinsworth had a little of Rhodesian Ridgeback puppies mixed with his bolio stuff. You know, because you, you got to ask yourself, ask yourself this. Why made they there them? Why made they them? Made they Barracuda, Big John, the dogs off yellow? Don't look like none of the pit bulls from the past. Why made they them don't look like picture of them? All the old school vintage pictures. You know, we see the vintage pictures with the old school people dressed all old with the, holding a little pit bull. Look like they took a picture of the old school camera or something. You know, why none of them pit bulls look like Mayday? Look like Barracuda. They look like bull terrier dogs. Why they don't look like Mayday Bar and Barracuda? Maybe them boys are right. Maybe there is some hound dog in these dogs somewhere. But can we find it? And that's what this show is about today, my brothers. Let's see, can we find the hound dog? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, right? Hold up, right? None of the old school dogs look like Mayday. But what can we say about Ferguson Centipede? You know, he has the big Rhodesian Ridgeback ears. He has the hound dog look. Way before Mayday. Way before Mayday, we find pit bulls with the hound dog look. So maybe that's a good look on Mayday to them, right? You know, we got Ferguson Centipede, you know, way before them. He got that same look. You know, the hound dog look existed before Mayday. Tank was a crook. Tank was a crook. He, he crooked a lot of people out of a lot of dogs. Give, especially them black dogs y'all got. And them tail, bobtail dogs that y'all got. You know, like he said, y'all thought y'all had dogs off yellow, but y'all had dogs off Bob 2 and Bob 3. It wasn't even Bob 1. Bob 2 and Bob 3, like the brother said. You know what I'm saying? That shit, they crushed a lot of people. You know, when you thought you were dealing with Tank, you was. But Tank was shitting y'all. Tank was giving y'all the dogs from that. Um, black black sister that was running in dogs back in South Carolina back in the days that was running a yard that he was going to get the dog from. He was giving y'all dogs from her. Yo, how many? What you say you want? You coming to buy some dogs off Yellow? Okay, hang the phone up. Go holler at that lady. Get a few puppies from her. Have the puppies waiting for you when you get there. Give you the papers on them. You got these, and you wonder why they they black or they this color, they that that color. They ain't off Yellow. They off. That sister that was selling them dogs back in the days, like they said. But anyway, you know, we got hounds that came before tent. Hound, hound pit bull looking dogs. You know, pit bull hound looking dogs, rather, excuse me. Like I said, centipede looked more like a hound, you know, had his hound dog look. You know what I'm saying? Now, when y'all start saying hound dogs, my brothers, why do y'all always go with Barracuda? Because, you know, 
He has the bloodhound look as well. He looks like the bloodhound as well. You know, but why do y'all always go with that hound dog look, but y'all forget about these pit bulls out here with these hound dog colors? What about the black and tan pit bull? Would I always be saying the Rottweiler colors? Is that or is that not a hound dog color? The Rottweiler dog, would I always say the Rottweilers? I'm not talking about the mall cunt stuff right now. I'm talking about in general. When we talk about them, 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 them uh, Sorrel color dogs, is that not a hound dog color dog? Yes or no? How about the spotted pit bulls? Not the Merle color, but we talking about the white ones with the brown spots on them like a Dalmatian almost. You can, you can see the spots up under the fur. You know, it look like the spots on the skin instead of the fur. You know, hound dog colors. It has nothing to do with Mayday, but everything to do with the pit bull world. Hound dog colors. You know? I mean, we can't just look at one hound dog and say, try to pick on Barracuda when there's a lot of more hound dog looking dogs out here. When I say, oh, he look, he shaped right. But he's the color of a hound dog. He the color of a, of a catahoula. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, my brothers, it's catahoulas out there that'll make your pit bull, three or four of your pit bulls burn the road down. You know? But why we always jumping on Barracuda because he big and he's got a big head? That's how the yellow dogs was back then. You know, our dog that came directly off of Toe Jam, Fatty's, Little Mate's sister, you know, was shaped just like Barracuda. Had the same shaped face. So the thing that we got to look at now is yellow. Was you breeding to yellow or was you breeding to a hound dog? Was you breeding to a part hound dog? You know, they can't breed yellow to a hound dog and use that to breed um, with a lot of brothers' dogs. Was there a stud on Tant's yard that was part yellow, part hound dog that he used? Because if the, when Hollisworth thought he was breeding the yellow, he could have been breeding to the stud that was part yellow, part hound dog. You know, that they bred yellow too many years ago. Nobody never thought about that. Tant maybe had a hound, a half hound, half yellow on the yard. You already know he crooked, so he will breed. The dog only got to have 10% yellow in it. Tant going to breed it. So, you know, if you got a 50-50 that look just like yellow, you know, and, and, and I guarantee you, if he would have bred any dog with yellow back then, the way he, them yellow puppies was coming, they, they wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. You know, the ears are already big. You know what I mean? Like, so, if yellow not throwing the hound dogs, that would have meant yellow is off a hound dog. See, we're going to we gonna have to find where this hound dog come from. We can't just keep talking about it. You know, we can for a good conversation, you know, which will always be. I always heard hound dogs was in the pits since before I even knew what pits was, really. far as, I mean, when I start knowing what the game dogs is. You always heard hounds was in the pits. But it wasn't Barracuda they was talking about. It was the pit bulls in general, you know. Um, and I mean, like, uh, you know, you you can find more dogs when you start going back in history that look like hound dogs. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can find a whole lot more. Now, like I said, um, we looking at the shape of Barracuda. We see he's shaped like the bloodhound as far as on the pictures. You know, and the pictures that you're looking at in the background. He's shaped like the bloodhound. And the Ridgeback, them dogs look, if you take a Rhodesian Ridgeback and breed it with a pit bull, how would you know the difference? I mean, truthfully, how would you know the difference? How would you know the difference between uh, any of them long linky dogs outside of the spotted color? The white, the black, and the brown. Because when you ask me, 
I know I see a lot of pit bulls out there. That's the base color is white, black spots, brown spots on them. Hound dog colors. Black, brown with a white base with black and brown, them hound dog colors. But we forget that. You know, we forget that. Bulldogs did come white back in the days. Bulldogs came brown. Bulldogs came black. Bulldogs came white, brown, and black. But we can't hack like them, them hound dogs. Main color isn't white, a base white with that, that black and that brown all over their body. A lot of pit bulls out here like that. But we don't call them hound dogs. The only one we call hound dogs is Mayday Barracuda them. But like I started off this argument with, what about Big John being Barracuda Uncle? I mean, who, where's the hound dog coming from? We need to focus on the hound dog coming from Red Boy, if you ask me. Because we don't know nothing about Red Boy, period. Besides, he's a good damn producer. Why he a good producer? Oh, shit, my brothers. I just thought about something. I just thought about something, my brothers. I just thought about something. The same thing that we speaking about. The dog with no pedigree is one of the best producing dogs that we can talk about right now. Why might he be the best producer? Maybe he had something else in him that opened his gene pool up. Open his gene pool up to give him more healthier puppies, to give him better puppies, you know, to give him that drive. Why the red boy puppies seem like Everybody say the red boy puppy's got that go. Maybe it's the kind of go that you ain't used to. Deerhound go. Deerhound go. Coon dog go. It's forever go. Go forever. Don't stop going. Okay, my brothers, we may be getting on to something. We may be getting on to something now. You know what I'm saying? Red boy possess the traits. Unlike no other dog. Why we always arguing about why no dogs can't produce like Red Boy when it comes to the go? What kind of go did Red Boy possess that no other dog in history has possessed since then? That he can give dogs that go? A fucking hound dog. Let us find out that Red Boy was part hound dog and that was the secret ingredient to his offspring to give him that Go forever. That infinite go. That unstoppable go to them dogs. You can't get it from breeding just in. Right now, you can't breed two pit bulls to get the go that Red Boy was giving brothers back in the days. Only unknown pedigree that we got. And then when we start doing this inbreeding with this Chavis Yellow John stuff and all these Chavis dogs and these tent dogs, we get hound dogs. We may be coming on to something, brothers. Maybe if we argue with each other back and forth, we'll pull the truth out. You know what I'm saying? We'll pull that truth out somewhere or another. Because like I said, I'm here to argue for Barracuda, and I'm here to argue against Barracuda and all the dogs. My plain out thing to, 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 to kill the whole deal is Big John and Barracuda look like father and son more than Mayday and Barracuda for them brothers who really don't have an argument on it. My next thing to go against Barracuda and Mayday is why no pit bulls from the past look like them dogs. They have no traits. None of them traits, Mayday and Barracuda carry no traits from none of the dogs that we see on pictures. Outside of Centipede and dogs like that. That's why I said you got dogs that do kind of look like hound dogs before Mayday, like Centipede. Now, you know, um, when it comes to Barracuda, um, I don't think he's a hound dog because I think the inbreeding in Barracuda, when brothers say some of the Barracuda stuff has skin problems, um, you know, I think that comes from the inbreeding. And, and brothers say, a lot of brothers say they have skin problems where they actually have sensitive skin to where they can't be in piss. You know, they, 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 they have real sensitive skin. It's not the dog problem all the time. Sometimes it's a little neglect from the humans and the dogs have sensitive skin so they can't take what, 
you know, one of them rough dogs might take, leaving them in this and leaving them in the, a dirty atmosphere uh, all the time. And then some brothers are going to going to definitely get up there and tell me they had their dogs in the house, it was clean, and they still had skin problems. You know, I always heard some of the Barracuda dogs directly off Barracuda, you know, had skin problems back in them days. You know, and I had one litter off Sambo. I had one litter off Sambo that had uh, red mange. Out of all the litters that I made, I had one litter that had red mange. And, you know, um, they still was fire, but you know, I had that, that's what I told you. I had called my Mangbo, like Mange Mangbo. That was his name, Mangbo. He had Mange and he was off both, so I called him Mangbo. But uh, I ended up getting rid of him about four or five months, and then we had another one and he ended up dying. We put um burning all on him. It was winter time. I'm talking about his skin was effed up, man. I'm talking about bumps, scabs, everything. He that red mange that just was on him bad at that time. It'll come up. It'll come in and out. Sometimes it's good, and you know, and they was puppies, and they had it as puppies. We never even made it to grown dogs with the ones we had. I sold some brothers' uh, dog off for that, and they end up keeping them, and they end up, you know, uh, it end up having them for a while. But uh, I was died because we put burning oil on them in the winter time, and I think it got froze to death. I think that all probably, I don't think all freezes, but. Somehow or another, I believe he put too much oil on him because he was dead the next day. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that didn't come from Sambo. That came from the dog I bred him to. The guy had a, a house dog, a red-nosed house dog. You know, I don't know what bloodline she was. I just bred a Sambo to him just to breed him to him. You know what I'm saying? And he was a pretty dog. Um, made great puppies, and they, that's why I say he was prepotent. That's why I always say Bo was a prepotent dog. I bred him to several brothers' dogs who just had pets, and I'm talking about Mm, 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 mm. To what phenomenal dogs, you know what I'm saying? But the thing was that female, she had skin problems, you know. Um, and that she threw off dogs' ass, so I think that came from her side, you know. Um, so well, I know that came from her side rather. But um, yeah, uh, the hounds, man, where they come from? Uh, you know, who bred to the hound? Which hound trait does Barracuda possess? You know, it's a question we all ask. And the only thing I can get from it, you know, is like I said, the red boy. No no pedigree. No pedigree. You brought something to the table that none of us know about. It's unknown to everybody. everybody. We act like we forgot it. We act like we was blind to it. You know, but as a dog community, everybody know that same exact thing about red boy. So we can't say Red Boy come off Teal. We can't say Red Boy don't come off a hound, though. You know? We can't say Red Boy don't come off of nothing. But we know when we start inbreeding, 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 inbreeding Red Boy offspring, hound dogs start showing up. Hound dogs start showing up. How about them red boy dogs back in the days? Some of them had long ears. Not like them, not like the, uh, the yellow dog ears. They had a different kind of long ears. You know, how more hound dogish look. How, how, tell the truth, my brothers. Now we start thinking about it. A lot of them red boy dogs back then had your hound dog look. A red boy with the long red long ears. More narrow beaks had more narrow beaks. It wasn't box all on one box shape like it is now, you know. More triangle shape. Think about it, my brothers. We may be on to something. Maybe the hound dog came from Red Boy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the hound dog came from Red Boy. Now I will say this to the haters out there: We got a big hater out there, Mall Cut. You know what I'm saying? AKA Lashine. We got a big hater and his crew. Any of my brothers who got dogs off a of hog and you notice um, lately that you seen unknown in your pedigree, you can't hurt. Do that brother, that brother must be took too many hits in the backfield, too many sacks for a loss, you know. Too many hits in the backfield. That CTE must be kicking in, big dog. 
Do you know, do you not understand that when you erase hog pedigree, that anybody can go on online pedigrees and put hog rat back up there? We got the papers. We going we pull it right. You not hurting nobody. We can't help that you out there doing them bullshit breedings. We can't help that you breeding Sanchez with, with that sterile. We can't help that you bred a hound dog to the fam down there in Louisiana, dog, and said it was off hog, and it wasn't off hog. You know, your hound dog little scenario didn't work. You know, it would have worked if you would have kept the litter and say the half the litter came off the Sorrell's dogs and the other half came off a hog, but it didn't. You bred it to your client's dogs. You see? We can't help that you're a crook, dog. We can't help your dogs don't ring no bells. You got three or four hundred dogs and you can't produce shit. Stop buying all them champions and try to breed some dogs. What you better do, big dog. And understand. And understand my brothers out there that got dogs off a hog. You see it say unknown right now. It's because he think he hurting brothers with hog dogs. Or he think he hurting me. Not understanding that I just go on online pair and create another pair for hog. And put his name on it. Maul cunts hog. <laughs> we gonna play that game, dog. That's the game we gonna play. Maul cut hog. So one of y'all brothers get up there and post a pedigree. <laughs> I go post it in my online pair. Fuck it. <laughs> dog, listen here, man. This is a new dog game. Them boys are tired of getting tricked and shitted by a lot of y'all big dog kennels with a lot of dogs without dog credentials. <laughs> I told y'all money can't buy your dog game. Y'all gonna realize that one day It can buy you some good dogs Yeah it can buy you some good dogs But you gotta know what to do with them And you don't know what to do with them Cause you're breeding all that bullshit Like I said Y'all wondering why the hog pedigree gone Cause you got a hate out there You got a hate out there That really You went to college You went to school and all that But them licks taking all that education away them licks taking all that education away. You ain't thinking like you used to think. Because if you was, you would understand that a brother going to add it right back. Ain't going to put your name on it this time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it just is what it is, man. Is what it is. Now, it's Barracuda, the Michael Jordan of the dog game. My brothers, since we talking about Barracuda, is he the Michael Jordan of the dog game? We see his offspring. We see his uh, everything about Barracuda. His, his win list. You know, the dogs that he beat was great dogs. Is Barracuda considered the Michael Jordan? Would y'all put him in the top three of all the dogs, you know, to ever exist? You know, and we got to say, we have to compare, like, would Barracuda beat Pitcher? A lot of brothers say Barracuda eat through Pitcher alive. Only the old schoolers, you know, brothers probably about 70, 80 years old. Still rocking with that. Gonna say pitcher would have took Barracuda. You know. What about Centipede? Would he have took Barracuda? We talked about dogs like Puma. And I was on the other video. I, I missed and left out a part on the other video. When I was speaking about Jeep and Chinaman. Should Jeep be considered. The, the, the Michael Jordan of this dog game. Jeep is the man, top of the rum list, you know what I'm saying, produce great dogs, has a great record, three wins, you know, and like I said, a lot of brothers got content with three to five wins, it seemed like the brothers from back in the days were more on the win, 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 and keep winning till we can't win no more, brothers in more modern day time was more on the get three wins and do breedings with them, get money off of them, you can start seeing when the money start getting involved, the winds start coming down. All them boys from the early 1900s, 50s, 60s, they wins limp. The dog limit here, nine wins. Like the closer they got to the money, the less the winds, the, the more and more the winds went down. You know, the more and more the winds went down. That's why now it's all about the money and where the winds at. All the way down. You know, minus the laws that's here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, hey, it is what it is, man. Is what it is. 
Like I said about them hound dogs. We got black and tan. We got your Dalmatian looking pit bulls. They got your Dalmatian spots on them. You know, um, <laughs> hound dog colors. Your bulldog is going to be your solid whites. Your, maybe your cow patch brown and white. Your solid blacks. You know what I'm saying? Your terrier colors. Your bull terrier colors. Not the new model bull terrier, but the old model bull terriers. The new model of everything come in all colors. You have to go back to the old school of pretty much every breed to get the original colors. You know? Big salute to all the dog men out there, man. It's Barracuda, the, the Michael Jordan of this dog game. I need some brothers and sisters to act, answer that for me down in that chat. We got some Barracuda fans out, fans out there, and we got Barracuda br brothers who breeding down off that Barracuda, Barracuda stuff for their yards. They got great dogs off that Barracuda stuff. You know, do you think Barracuda should be the Michael Jordan of this shit? You know what I'm saying? Didn't make they produce a dog that was better than him. You know, dog dog got a hell of a record. Could could Barracuda have taken his father out? You know. Then when it comes to Jeep, is Jeep that dog? You know, is Jeep that dog? His production rate is great. One of the great dogs like Tudor's Dabo. His production rate is up there. He haven't he haven't made the famous dogs like Dabo. But his production rate is up there. He's a champion as Dabo is. You know, he's a name that people speak on more often today's time than Dabo. You know, even though he, he goes back several years before Dabo. See, the distance from Debo to Jeep is closer. From Dabo to Jeep is closer than Jeep to us. Right now. But we still talking about Jeep. So Jeep must be the Michael Jordan. Then you got brothers who say Crenshaw backed out from shows. He didn't want to take Jeep. He 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 didn't you know he didn't stand some brothers say something about um uh which dog was that? I wanna say Jocko that they was trying to get it get it get it too, but they would never bring him over there. But I don't want to say that if that's the wrong dog. But I thought I thought I heard that before. You know, could be mistaken. But it's Jeep to Michael Jordan. Then I said Chinaman. It's Chinaman to Michael Jordan. Chinaman, a great producer. You look at Chinaman for physique. Chinaman has one of the best physiques when you look at these pits. You know, look good. Is he to Michael Jordan? Produce great dogs. Has a hell of a record. You know, is he that Jordan? Which dog did you want a dog when you was a little child? When you was young and you heard about pit bulls and you was like wanting one, wanting one, and you first heard about game dogs, which dog took your mind like, oh, I need to get that. I want that. I got to have that. You know, which one do you feel like is the Michael Jordan? Or when it comes to these dogs, it's like, like I said before, can we have a Michael Jordan when it comes to these dogs? Maybe we can have a Michael Jordan when it comes to these dogs. Because Michael Jordan wasn't perfect. You know? He was just the head of that game. But he wasn't perfect. But who would y'all consider v dog? Tudor's Dabo? Jeep? Chinaman? You know, Puma don't, like, that's why I took Puma out of the show the um, other night because Puma don't deserve to be in the list with Dabo, Barracuda, Jeep, Puma. Come on, man. Let's be real, man. No, 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 not, but I mean, it's be, just be real. You know what I'm saying? Jeep, Chinaman, Barracuda. What about, um, uh, what Chinaman had beat? Um, Ferguson Centipede Will Chinaman had beat uh, Kobe's pitcher You know and At the end of the day man 
all the brothers who had these dogs are probably going to say just what I said, you know, in my last video. To me, my dog is Michael Jordan. To Garner, Chinaman is Michael Jordan. To Crenshaw, Jeep is Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? To uh, Indian Sonny, Bolio is Michael Jordan. You know, um, to Mr. Carver, uh, whatever his dogs was, is Michael Jordan. You know, like, it's going to probably be like that for every brother. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, but we're going to still seek these answers. Because I always say, was your best, was the dog that you had that you considered the best, how would you, how would you put him on Jeep level? You know, do you think the best dog that you ever had could beat Jeep? Jeep is not unbeatable. Jeep wasn't no unbeatable. Jeep was just with a famous dog man who was known. You know? Do you think your dog could beat Jeep? If you feel like the best one you had could could beat Jeep, then Jeep is not the Michael Jordan of the dog game. You know? And just because your dog could could beat Jeep don't mean that's why Jeep is not the best, you know? But if you feel like yours can beat him, then that means yours should be him. Yours should be the Michael Jordan. A lot of y'all brothers feel like it's a sin to take credit in your own shit. A lot of y'all brothers feel like it's, it's the wrong thing to do. This is just watching this video that's down in the chat. Like I said, y'all hit that like button before y'all get up out of here. And remember what y'all hearing this first set. We're talking about Barracuda. We're talking about hound dogs and pit bulls. Do it really exist? Did it happen? Is that what we're working with now these days? Is that what's going on? Is that what happened with Mayday? Is that why he's so big? Is that why he looked different than all the dogs from the past? You know, is that why his offspring, yellow offspring, look different? But I look at all the pictures of yellow offspring. Look at all the pictures of yellow offspring. You know, you got Hardcore, Bozak. You got a lot of dogs. But all of them don't look like hound dogs. You know, only a few of yellow offspring look like hound dogs. Big John, Mayday, and there's several more. It's several more. But the thing is, this would have came from David Tant. Now, if he was Mr. Floyd Boudreaux, or if he was um one of these other brothers you know like i say nobody's perfect but when it comes to being a crook or being a fair businessman we all know what tent name is from you know or what which side he going on so if it was any hound dog in these dogs that came directly from these guys then it either came from Red Boy with the unknown pedigree or it came from David Tant with his shystiness, with his craziness over there. You know, there's a high percentage chance that David Tant screwed a lot of people over, even the brothers who thought he wasn't screwing you over. There's a high chance that he did. Because the simple fact of the matter is, where are all the dogs at beforehand that look like Mayday? Where are all the dogs at beforehand that look like Barracuda? Where are all the dogs at beforehand that look like Big John? Go back to Big John, Mayday, and Barracuda side as they lawyer. Dogs got heavy Jocko in them. Heavy Jocko. And when Mr. Chavis did them Jocko breedings, the way he was doing them, you know, it, it, it made them dogs, you know, especially with Barracuda, you know, and Big John them, they got a side, of, they got Jocko in them heavy, man, heavy. They took the Jocko side of the dogs. Instead of taking looking like Red Boy and these other dogs, they took the Jocko side. Barracuda going to take the Jocko side because he got a lot of that stuff in him, you know, compared to Mayday. Big John going to take it because he's closer off of that stuff. He's directly off of it. You know? Heavy Mayfield stuff. Chavis Jocko and all them dogs. Big dogs. Big brown dogs. So then again, that's why I say 
I don't think Tant did it. I think Tant did a lot of screwed up things in his days, you know, but I don't think he did it with the Mayday breeding or the Big John breeding because them boys seen yellow stick in the saber. You know, so I think if it's Hound Dog in it, the Hound Dog came from Red Boy. And that's not a fact, but it ain't a fact. It ain't opinion that you can say it ain't true either. You know, after we start inbreeding all Red Boy offspring, Hound Dog start showing up. Why Red Boy? The only dog that produces the go like no other dog before him or after him. What kind of go did Red Boy have in him? Might have been a tree hound mixed in there somewhere. <laughs> them deer dogs, like I said, them dogs running from the morning to the evening. You add that into that pit bull, country boys, country boys add that into that pit bull, I need something that's going to make this dog fight forever. We hunting all the time. We we might, This might just be an accidental breeding. He did I, right, he did I, right, but then we take him and we go drop him off to a brother who take him and put papers on him and change history with him. Because he had that go in him. That go, that go, that go. I don't know, man. We just talking about them hound dogs and them pit bulls. You know what I'm saying? Talking about them crooks. You know, the Michael Jordan of the dog game. You know what I'm saying? Giving it to y'all brothers and sisters like I always do. Like I said before, what about the black and tan dogs? Now, I want to speak on this a little bit. When it comes to advertising, I you know I had to sit back and think for a second. Um, when it comes to advertising, I can advertise products. I can advertise services. Anybody offering services, anybody selling products, I can advertise it. When it comes to dogs, I can't advertise nobody dogs. And this is what I'm telling every brother got to understand this. You know, um, this pit bull thing is deep. Uh, uh, you, you get in trouble for buying, selling, possessing, owning, uh, whatever. Dogs are fighting. And this is the thing. You know, no matter how good I speak about something, the person I'm advertising a dog, I don't know what they're doing, no matter what they tell me. You know, so in order to look out for myself, Cause if I if I advertise something and then turn around they get in trouble about it and then they saying oh I'm advertising what they over here doing what they over here fighting you know so I gotta look out for me on that end that's why I say I can only advertise in my dogs because I know what my dogs are doing you know what I'm saying I know what I'm doing with my dogs so if I make a sale then I know the stuff that I'm advertising is not being advertised for this you know what I'm saying um, or not being not being uh, fought, you know what I'm saying? So, I can advertise products, I can advertise services for anybody to offer any services, but I can't advertise your dogs. I can only advertise my dogs, you know what I'm saying? And I, like I said, this is, I'm not talking no shit on this. I'm just trying to make sure I keep my end straight, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it just is what it is. Now, a bro asked me, what is the box? You know what I'm saying? All I'm going to say about that, bro, Something you need to stay far away from. You know what I'm saying? Something you need to stay far away from. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe maybe, maybe, maybe some of my brothers down in the chat, you know what I'm saying, um, figured out where this hound dog thing came at with the pit bulls or where the hound originated at with the pit bulls. You know, um, but all we can do, man, is just wonder. You know, all we can do is just wonder, make up little assumptions. And like I say, Red Boy, the only dog with the unknown pair. So, you know, how we going to um, put it all on Mayday or put it all on Barracuda? You know, now, the, before I get up out of here, I want to ask brothers, what happened to Mr. Claude Puckett Dogs? What happened to all the Puckett Dogs? You see Puckett Dick, Puckett's Dixie Bell in your pedigree. 
Now, when I was going to Mr. Puckett House, right here in South Carolina, yard full of dogs, roll with all the old schoolers like Tant and all them brothers. Now, when Mr. Puckett got old and he couldn't take care of his dogs more, people came from all over picking his dogs up. And the reason why I say, where are Mr. Puckett dogs? Because you don't see nobody with Puckett dogs in their pedigrees. Mr. Puckett got rid of a whole yard. His wife got rid of a whole yard of dogs. That they all are different bloodlines right now. All them red boy Jocko dogs Mr. Puckett had. And different kind. He, I don't think he, when I was there, he didn't have no Eli dogs like that. No, I'm not saying he didn't have any. But when I was there, he didn't have any. Um, but. All them dogs are representing another line or another dog right about now because I see nobody with a pedigree that say Puckets, Jim, Puckets, Rambo, Puckets this, Puckets that. You know, in the pedigree. And he had a whole yard full of dogs. Another mystery. Another mystery in the dog game. Whole yard full of dogs gone. That's like Mr. Chavis. Everybody come get Mr. Chavis dogs when he got out the dog game. Everybody come get them, but now you don't see nobody with Chavis dogs in their pedigree. Knowing all, everybody came and got all Mr. Chavis dogs when he got out the game. Mr. Burns got out the game. People came and got all Mr. Burns dogs. But you don't see one Burns pedigree in the modern day dog game. So that would tell you that everybody dogs is out here representing another, Mr. Burns dogs is out here representing other bloodlines. Jeep bloodlines, Red Boy Jocko, um, Eli, Chinaman, all other kind of stuff. When you're thinking you got this, you got Red Boy Jocko. <laughs> I mean, this is common sense, man. Common sense. I hope y'all brothers had a good day, good night. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep doing it. Like I say, PBK style, man. When, you, when, you, when you're a grown man, man, you make your own decisions. You don't rely on the next person to make decisions for you. You know, when it comes to... Uh, Certain things, you know what I'm saying? Um, it just is what it is, man. One thing I know, two things for sure. You know, I'm going to be me. You got to be you. PBK Nines, y'all stay safe out there. At the end of the day, y'all stay legal. Y'all take care of them dogs. And I'm out.